It's mid-October in southern Ontario and nearing the end of one of Canada's most beloved seasons, road construction. And here in northwest St. Catharines, Ontario, at the intersection of 7th Street and the QEW, lies a major obstacle to much needed lane expansion. The 7th Street Bridge just isn't wide enough to accommodate the planned additional lanes. So, it has to go. The roadway that runs underneath the bridge is one of the busiest highways in all of Ontario, with an average of 200,000 vehicles per day in some sections. It is a vital artery for commerce, transit, and trade with the United States. So disruption of access is more than just inconvenient, it's costly. The bridge replacement will need to be done with both precision and velocity. That's where the Civil Division of Ellis Don steps in. Their incredible track record for creating new roads, rail systems, and bridges is unmatched. Established in 1951, Ellis Don has built a reputation for being the premier contractor in Canada. Their scope of work includes everything from building construction and renewable energy to civil engineering. When it comes to bringing towns and cities into the future, Ellis Don has got you covered. Ellis Don has been building infrastructure that keeps major cities growing from coast to coast in Canada, to the Caribbean, and down to South America, and reaching as far as the Middle East. But today, they're bringing their skills to St. Catharines. This is Ellis Don's first uh, MTO bridge project that uh, we were awarded. Uh, it was a design built, and we have a year to complete it. This project begins with the removal of the existing 7th Street Bridge, requiring the highway to be completely closed. But here's the catch. They only have 12 hours to close the highway, take down the bridge, clean the road, and reopen it for 10 a.m. the next morning to keep the traffic along this important highway rolling. So Ellis Don brings in Priestley Demolition, the best in the biz, who mobilize an impressive amount of heavy machinery for this job. In fact, the most machines ever brought in for an Ontario bridge demolition. It took a lot of planning in the beginning to uh, get all the diversion routes all set up before uh, Priestley showed up. It took us about uh, two weeks to get traffic set up, get the permits and everything. After all that planning and preparation, it comes down to this moment. With the heavy equipment in place, Elliston waits in anticipation of the looming road closure. Okay guys, they've got the uh, Niagara bound traffic closed, let's get ready. Toronto bound traffic will be closed in a minute. You can see flashing lights down there, hopefully it happens right now. Guys, is that Toronto bound closed? Toronto bound is closed. Okay, let's go. At last, the highway is closed and the crew springs into action. Come on, let's go! With no time to waste, they'll start by laying an eight inch deep layer of protective sand to preserve the roadbed. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Uh, we spread about 500 tons of uh, sand protection in five minutes. So there was no waste of time. With an eight inch layer of sand now protecting the road surface, the first order of business is to get the barrier separating the eastbound and westbound lanes out of the way. It is attacked with a hydraulic breaker and hauled away by a bulldozer in quick order. The mighty machines are now free to get into position for the start of a mechanical feeding frenzy. This, in terms of span-wise, it was 100 meters, and given that uh, there were penalties involved, that kind of created that challenge of uh, having it done in like 12 hours. Due to the large span of the bridge, there is a specific plan in place to keep the bridge stable while it's being demolished. The crew will attack the middle of the bridge from both sides at once. Once up to the column line, the machines on the west side of the bridge will switch to the outside bays, while the machines on the east side will continue through the middle.
The crew bursts through the middle and starts to work on the outside bays a full two hours ahead of schedule. And long before the sun rises, the team has made quick work of bringing down the remaining sections of the 7th Street Bridge. Everything worked out. Uh, we're just in the final phases. Shortly, we'll start cleaning it up and then uh, doing the safety railing on the side, and then we're done. As dawn approaches, the crew is hard at work removing demolition rubble and debris. Everybody knew what they were doing and then uh, made it all successful at the end of the day. The big machines have done their job and are pulled off the highway. The next order of business is to replace the concrete barriers that divide the east and westbound lanes. And the last task to put phase one of this job to rest is to bring in the sweepers and water trucks to clean the highway and make this stretch of roadway look like nothing ever happened. Hours before the 10 a.m. deadline is reached, Ellis Don has the road opened for the morning commute. Phase one of this job is complete. With the old bridge gone, Ellis Don can now set their sights on phase two and the construction of the new 7th Street Bridge, civil infrastructure that will carry Ontario into the next century.